वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 2.33 सो द स्टेटमेंट इज एन एक्सियल फोर्स ऑफ 200 हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड टू द असम्बली शोन बाय मींस ऑफ रिजिट एंड प्लेट्स डिटरमाइन ए द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन एल्यूमिनियम शेल एंड बी करस्पॉन्डिंग डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द असम्बली सो यू कैन सी दिस इज एल्यूमिनियम शेल एंड दिस इज द ब्रॉस कोर एंड दिस इज दिस इज एन असम्बली The modulus of elasticity of brass cores is 105 gigapascal, and that of aluminium is 70 gigapascal. The length of this assembly is 300 millimeter. So first, we will write the given data. In given data, it is given that load axial force P is equal to 200 kilo newton. There and That is equal to two hundred into ten raised to power three newton. Also, the length of this assembly is three hundred millimeter, and that three hundred millimeter is equal to point three meter. Modulus of elasticity E of aluminium is equal to seventy gigapascal. And that is equal to seventy into ten raised to power nine pascal. Similarly, modulus of elasticity of bronze is equal to one zero five giga pascal. And that is equal to one zero five into ten raised to power nine pascal. Also, from here you can see diameter of bronze. That is D B is equal to twenty five millimeter. That is zero point zero two five meter. Similarly, the you can see this aluminium shell having outer diameter sixty. So D outer of aluminium is equal to sixty millimeter, and that is equal to zero point zero six meter. Similarly, D inner of aluminium, which is same as that at that of brass core, so it is twenty five millimeter. And that is equal to zero point zero two five meter. So what you have to find in first part, it is given that find the normal stress in the aluminium shell. So you have to find normal stress in aluminium. Clear. And in B part, it is given that corresponding deformation of the assembly. So you have to find the deformation that is. delta of the assembly so let's start with the solution now it is given that uh, this assembly is subjected to load p clear and the load is given as 200 mm so this load will be carried out by aluminium shell as well as the bronze shell so let we say that p a is equal to portion of portion of axial force or axial force carried by shell and pb is equal to portion of axial force carried by core and the core is made up of brass clear now we know that Uh, due to this load total deformation will be equal to delta that is deformation in that assembly which is same for brass and aluminium so we know that uh, this deformation uh, is equal to for load uh, for portion of axial force carried out by shell this deformation is equal to pa into l divided by E A into A of uh, shell. Clear. So from here you will get this P A is equal to E A into A A divided by L into delta. So this is for this for shell for core for core again this as deformation is same so this deformation is equal to pb 
into L divided by E A E A E A means aluminium or an E bronze here it is B bronze into A B so here you will get, you can get load taken by brass brass core so that is equal to E B into A B into delta divided by whole length now we know that p load is applied and this p load is equal to load taken by shell plus load taken by core clear so we have both the values we can put p is equal to p a is equal to this one and p b is this one so e a into a a into delta divided by l plus e b into a b into delta divided by l so you can see that delta over l is common in both terms so you can take the common terms so we will get e a into a a plus e b into a b now what is a a and a b so we will find that a a is, is as a a a a is the area of aluminium shell and it is hollow having outer diameter and inner diameter clear so we have a is equal to pi by 4 into outer diameter of was 60 millimeter so 60 millimeter in meter is 0 0.00 uh, 0 0.060 whole square and inner diameter was 25 millimeter which is 0 0.025 meter whole square so from here you will get this a is 2.336 into 10 to the power minus 3 square meter now a b we know that a b diameter of bronze core is 25 millimeter so its area will be pi by 4 into d square and d is 0 0.025 whole square so it is 0 0.4908 into 10 to the power minus 3 square meter okay so we have now each and every every value e a is there a a is there e b is there and a b is there so you can put in this formula p is equal to delta over l into e a is given as 70 giga pascal so 17 to 10 to the power 9 into e a a a a is this one 2.336 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus e b which was 125 giga pascal so one no, sorry 105 giga pascal so 105 into 10 raised to power 9 is e b and a b is 0 0.4908 into 10 raised to power minus 3 okay so when you solve this you will get this p is equal to 215.10 into 10 to the power 6 multiply by this delta over L okay now we know now we know that strain is equal to change in length divided by original length clear and here you can see that uh, we have P uh, strain is equal to delta over L clear so here this delta will become from here you will get this delta is equal to P into L divided by 215.10 into 10 to the power 6 so you can put this delta over here in this formula okay 
so i will put so this delta will be equal to p into l divided by this l into 215.10 into 10 raised to power 6 so ll will cancel and we will have strain is equal to p over 215.10 into 10 raised to power 6 now p is given as 200 kilonewton so p is 200 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by this 215.10 into 10 raised to power 6 so here you will get this strain is equal to 0 0.9298 into 10 raised to power minus 3 having no unit because strain is dimensionless quantity now we in part a we have been asked to find the stress in aluminium clear so we know that stress in aluminium is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity of aluminium strain is 0 0.9298 into 10 to the power minus 3 and modulus of elasticity was 70 gigapascal so 17 to 10 to the power 9 so from here you will get stress in aluminium shell is equal to 65.1 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or you can say that stress in aluminium is equal to 65.1 mega pascal so this is the answer of our first part in part b it is it was asked to find the total deformation so we know that uh, strain is equal to change in length divided by original length so from here you have this change in length or deformation is equal to strain into length strain is 0 0.9298 into 10 to the power minus 3 and the length was 300 millimeter clear so total deformation in this assembly will be 0 0.279 millimeter so this is the answer of our this question i hope you have enjoyed this video and also learned from that as well if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching